how long this fish truly yeah. is. Stretched across that necropsy table, this rare adult male oarfish measured 12 feet and a quarter inch. Some can reach 36 feet and known to be the longest bony fish in the world. It's something out of the National Geographic or Discovery Channel type scenes. You have this big table, you bring this big long fish. UC San Diego Scripps Institution of Oceanography researcher Fernando Melendez is one of the scientists who conducted the necropsy of the deep sea fish found earlier this month by kayakers and snorkelers in La Jolla Cove. He says the short crested fish was in good condition. There was no trauma on the outside, but that necropsy still hasn't determined the cause of death. Well, the lower part of the jaw was missing and the stomach content was empty. So we figured that it might have been trying to move up to the shallows in order to feed. And in all that process, it got injured in the mouth area and the lower in the lower jaw area. It wasn't able to feed it. This is only the 20th oarfish found on the California coast since 1901. Oarfish are uncommon to see in real life because they live about 3,300 feet deep on the ocean floor and usually only come to the surface at night to feed. They typically swim vertically, not horizontally. So we're trying to understand that aspect. While Melendez is studying the genetics and behaviors of the deep sea fish, other scientists are looking at the oar-shaped fins, smooth, silvery, scaleless coat, and organs to compare the evolution of the oar fish and others like it. But I think the most exciting part about it is that we gather data for questions that we haven't even realized that we have them yet. The rare oarfish has created immense local and global interest. The Birch Aquarium went into a rapid response and already have a temporary exhibit of the very oarfish that was recently found. This is Japanese art that's called Gyotaku that was made by local artist Dwight Wang. Gyotaku is an ancient Japanese method of applying ink to a fish and pressing it onto paper to create art. Wow. The fascination around this sea serpent will hopefully better tell the real story of this mythical creature. Growing up as a fish nerd, if you will, this was a mythical fish. This is the fish you hear about, like, oh, this is this crazy fish. But you never in your life could figure that you were able gonna, to see it in, in person. It's like a big opportunity. In La Jolla, Abby Black, CBS 8.